I'd like to introduce our keynote speaker, Pat McClanahan. First of all, I recognize God, our sovereign God, creator of heaven and earth. He knows also the great sacrifice that many men have given and women have given in the course of the years here on earth through his son, Jesus Christ. I am a fallen soldier, airman, sailor, marine. Remember me. I am the one that held the line. Sometimes I volunteered. Sometimes I went because I was told to go. When the nation called, I answered. To order to serve, I left behind the family, friends, and freedom that so many take for granted. Over time, I used different weapons, a sword, a musket, a rifle, or machine gun. Often, I marched into battle on foot. Other times I rode into battle on horseback or in wagons, sometimes on trains, on ships, in tanks, jeeps, or Humvees. In early wars, ships were made of wood and powered by the wind. Later, they were made of steel, powered by diesel or the atom. I even took to the air and mastered the skies in planes, helicopters, and jets. But I remember that it was always me, the warrior that had to fight our nation's enemies. I fought at Lexington and Concord as our nation was born across the Delaware on Christmas Day in 1776. In the Civil War, I fought with my brothers and against my brothers at Gettysburg and Shiloh and Bull Run. I learned that we must never divide again. In World War I, I marched and held the line at Bella Wood. The war to end all wars, they called it. I just called it hell. In World War II, I fought everywhere. The beaches of Normandy, the Battle of the Bulge, and the hell of Guadalcanal. I stood against tyranny and kept darkness from consuming the world. In Korea, I landed in Incheon and broke out of the chosen resort. They came, I'm sorry, they called it the Forgotten War, but I never forgot. In Vietnam, I fought in the Mekong Delta, at the Kai Shang and at Hamburger Hill. Some say my country wavered. I did not waver, ever. In the recent past, I have fought in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Baghdad, Fallujah, and Ramada and Kunar Helmand and Kandahar. As technology advanced, I used night vision goggles and global positioning systems and drones as lasers and thermal optics. But it was still me, a human me, that did the work. It was me that patrolled up the mountains or across the deserts or through the streets. It was me that suffered the merciless heat and bitter cold. It was me that went out night after night to confront our nation's enemies and confront evil face to face. It was me. Remember me, I was a warrior, but also remember that I was a son, a brother, a father. I was a daughter, a sister, and a mother. I was a person like you, a real person with hopes and dreams for the future. I wanted to have children, to see my son score a touchdown or to shoot the winning basket. I wanted to walk my daughter down the aisle to kiss my wife again. When I told her I would be with her until the end, I meant it. When I told my children I would always be there for them, I meant it, but I gave all that away. On that distant battlefield, amongst the fear and the fire and the bullets, or in the sky above enemy territory filled with flak, or on the unforgiving seas where we fought against the enemy and against the depths of the abyss. There, in those awful, awful places, I held the line. I did not waver and I did not hesitate. I, the soldier, the sailor, 
the airman, the marine. I stood my ground and sacrificed my life, my future, my homes, and my dreams. I sacrificed everything for you because you were worth it. This Memorial Day, remember me, the fallen warrior, and remember me not for my sake, but for yours. Remember that I sacrifice so that you truly can appreciate the incredible treasures you have. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Family, friends, and freedom. Never forget where it all came from. It came from sacrifice, supreme sacrifice. So live a life that honors us, the fallen heroes. Remember us and make every day a Memorial Day. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, Pat.